This video gives a brief tour of the LookML editor, commonly referred to as the IDE. This is part one of two, covering the left pane of the IDE. Taking a look at the left pane, the default view is of the file browser, with LookML files organized by folder. At the top of the file browser, there's a toolbar that has options for collapsing folders, bulk editing, searching, and adding new files and folders. You can also rename, delete, create, and add files to folders within the folders option menu. Files also have an option menu with options to rename or delete them. You can use folders to organize project files. For example, many developers create folders that correspond to the different file types. So for LookML dashboard files, you could create an additional folder just for those files to keep things organized. Now, take a look at the other side panels you can access in the IDE. Using the object browser, you can view all your project's objects in one place. This is useful if you want to navigate your project by object type, as it's often easier to find specific LookML objects and understand the relationships among them. Here, you can see models, explorers, views, and fields that have been defined in your project, along with the hierarchy of objects. Hover over each object to see its type. By clicking an object, you can jump directly to its definition in the LookML project. For example, say you want to add a new dimension based on the sale price dimension. You can quickly go to the sale price dimension by clicking it, and then add the new dimension directly under sale price. This is much easier than tracking down the specific dimension in the project. Next is the search panel, where you can search for objects and perform a find and replace. Once your project is configured for Git, you can access the Git Actions panel. From here, you can create a new branch or navigate to a different existing branch. Or you can view uncommitted changes, as well as a history of commits. You can also perform standard Git commands from this panel, such as pushing and pulling changes and deploying to production. The commands available to you on the Git Actions panel will vary depending on where you are in the process of making changes in your project and deploying to production. Finally, you can test your Git connection or view the project in your Git provider's instance. In the Project Settings panel, you can configure project settings, import credentials, and configure additional Git and branch management settings. If you'd like to learn more about project settings, check out our documentation for additional information. Thanks for watching. This video covered the left pane of the Looker IDE.